I saw an example of this on the internet and I thought, hmm, that'd be interesting, I'd like to make one of them. So I drew up a rough plan and this is what I'm going to make in the shed. So there's a bit of lathe action happening today. I'm going to make the spark plug out of aluminium. By following the plan and using my DRO for the measurements, it's not all that difficult to get the bits correct. I don't know what I ever did without the DRO. It makes life so much easier. My order of operation is that I'm going to make one end of the spark plug first, um, the bit that is going to end up having the thread on it and then I'm going to put the hex on it, turn it round and do the rest. Most of the features I can use a lathe tool but some of the features I'm going to use the file. I've done enough now so that I can put the hex on the spark plug. I'm going to use my milling attachment for this but really you could just use a file to put the hex on it. With that done, I can now start working on the other end. Again, just following the plan, setting the DRO, and letting the lathe do its thing. On to the last little feature, the spark plug cap. Well that didn't take too long and there's the basic shape of the spark plug. Time to turn it around now and put the thread on the spark plug. Now again if you don't want to single point thread you could just put parallel grooves in it to give the effect of a thread because obviously the thread's not being used but because I can I'm doing a proper thread. I am an idiot. I really need tail support for this. Right, that's much better. I'm drilling out the inside of the spark plug because this will be the reservoir for the citronella oil that I'll be burning in my spark plug lamp. And now I'm putting a little bit wider diameter that will hold the electrode piece that will have the wick in it. Now I'm working on the electrode piece and drilling the hole for the wick. This piece will sit in top of the spark plug and be removable so that you can refill the, the lamp.
I'm having the spark plug sitting up on end on the plinth and I forgot to do this operation before and that is drill this out and then tap it for an M4 thread. I'm just using an M4 bolt to secure the spark plug to the plinth and I'll cut it down to size. The last job is to drill the hole for the ground or side electrode that'll go on the top of the spark plug. All the bits are done, it's time for assembly. And you can see I'm just using an old bearing as the base. And I've made up a, um, a little insert with a tapped M4 thread in the end of it that the spark plug will screw into. Now, of course, the ground electrode will have a way bigger gap than a proper spark plug, but this is required for proper flamage. Okay, here goes the first try. Woohoo! Works beautifully. What a great little project.